right, so for all those people that say I don't catch any fish, here we go. everybody doing on this fine rainy day it's actually not that bad <clears throat> it's probably about 14 degrees Celsius rain uh, expected all day off and on so I'm up north uh, shiny tree area I'll put the name of the lake below because I not that I don't remember, I don't think I say it right, so I'll just leave it at that. And basically, uh, kind of off the main road, and then about 5k down at uh, a dirt road, and just past this Bailey Bridge that behind us here is where you put in. And that's that. Uh, I'm out here. Uh, right now by myself, but I'm actually meeting Mark out here from Open Air Outdoors. Once again, we're getting together. And actually, he has his grandson with him. So I'm kind of uh, invading their weekend getaway. With permission, of course. Jamie's busy uh, moving and doing all that stuff. And uh, so he's, uh, like we've mentioned, he's gonna be away for a bit. So basically, stuck with me and I was uh, talking to Mark and he invited me out and I took him up on it because uh, it's a beautiful area great area to paddle great area to fish as well we'll see how that turns out it's about a quarter to three I'm a, it's a couple hour drive well two and a half roughly from my place and I worked last night so I got up early for, for me anyways it's going to be a bit of a paddle in but now that I'm here and in the water, I'm, I'm cool, man. I'm not in any kind of rush. I put the rain gear on first time this year. So we've had a, an amazing summer up north with lots of humidity and sunshine and very little to complain about. There's no portages on this trip. As best I know, Mark is on an island that he explained to me where, where the island is. So that's what I'm shooting for. And there's a plan B and a plan C if he's not there. If I didn't find him and I had to camp on my own, and not a big deal at all. You guys hear that? Absolute silence. It's just like so peaceful. Birds aren't even chirping very much. I know in the forecast it said it was going to uh, rain a lot a little bit later on in a couple hours, so. Although I'm not in a rush to get to the campsite because I want to fish on the way there. Um, yeah, if it starts getting too bad, I'll be hustling a little bit more. This uh, river kind of, uh, it's a lake, but it, this part is kind of like a river that meanders all the way up to where we're camping. And then it opens up to a bigger lake on the other side of the woods here on my left. And that's kind of how this lake works. Actually, I'll put a... Google image shot in here and you can have a look for yourself. We try to go to a lot of places where there's not going to be a lot of people. I know uh, those of you who have been to Algonquin or Killarney, you know, know that it gets busy. And yeah, that's fun too. It's, it's a different experience. And I mean, they're both beautiful, beautiful parks, no doubt about it. But this is kind of making up your own <laughs> camping and finding your own areas too. You know, to hang out. Our last video with Mark, someone commented, "You gotta get a, you gotta bring a guy like Mark along so that you know you know you're eating fish." <laughs> yup. Mark's the ace in the hole. Great guy. Check out his channel. 
I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. He's a good dude. And the water's just like glass. So it's perfectly smooth. A light drizzle. Yeah, and that's the the goodness we're looking at here. It's beautiful. As far as fishing goes, I take all the advice I can get. So as I mentioned before, I am not a good fisherman. I am a recreational fisherman at best. I'm so here having fun. We just hit bottom. Oh, maybe not. I think we got something here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, going for a ride. Let's see if we can get a little bit of this action there. Did you see that? Hope you saw it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was fun. See if we can grab another one. Yeah, I was trying to work the camera a little bit there. And couldn't get him up. He got off. But I don't know. Got something here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh. All right. Look at this guy. Bass. All right, let's get him in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy fall, easy fall. All right, so for all those people that say I don't catch any fish, case in point, here we go. I got one. <laughs> That's a nice size too. But I have no idea what Mark has done, but if I'm catching fish here, I'm sure he's caught. He's catching fish there too, so there it is. All right, let's let this guy go. All right. Oh, it was fun. Fun they finally catch something. I mean, I begin to think I'd never catch a fish again. But that guy was cool. All right, I'm going to take a couple more casts here. I think the word is out. They're on to me. All right, so I'm going to do, a, I'm going to cast here last time and then I'm gonna get paddling a little bit mostly because uh, I still got a ways to paddle from from what I saw on the map I watched some fishing channels and and one guy I watched that I really like is uh, uh, SK and his uh, crappy fishing out of uh, out of Texas out of Houston area and I mean he's always uh, He's always giving some really good tips and one of the things he always talks about is uh, find some structure because that's where crappy hang out and fish hang out in general a lot. So that's what I kind of did there. I was looking for a little bit of structure, some of the old uh, wood and it kind of worked out. So that was cool. Off the snide. I mean, I just feel great that I'm, I'm, not, I'm not getting skunked. It's fun. Ooh, damn, had something on. I see some structure over here and over there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try over there. See how this works out. Yeah, so just kind of hugging the shoreline here. They weren't calling for any thunderstorms or anything like that, so that's cool. Because if there's any lightning, uh, you know, we're getting off the water. All right, so I'm going to change this up. Although I did, uh, 
catch a couple nice bass in there. My issue is I'm going to be trolling the whole way, and I'm I'm just not sure if this is the right tool for the job, so to speak. So I'll bust out something I know I can troll with, and I've had some success with. I'm going to try this. Try this guy. Bit of a deep diver, but I think I'm going to stay in the middle of the channel, and uh, that should make a difference. I know. Maybe. Get some better luck. Alright. Oh, definitely got something here, boys and girls. <clears throat> Ooh. Like it. Feels good, feels big actually. Oh, and it just jumped. I think it spit it. Damn. Technically, it's good fishing weather, so let's see what happens. Moving a little bit quicker. Focusing more on the paddling than the, the fishing now. I believe Mark is camped dead ahead. I see a tent. I see a green canoe, which he's got his grandson with him, so he took his green uh, Langford. And he also flashed a light, so I assume. That's for me. So I know exactly where they are right now. So that's the island we'll be staying on. It's a small one. But here's the other side of the kind of inlet that we've been paddling on on the river side. Once you get around the bend here, it opens up to a huge, huge lake. Lots of water here. Lots and lots of water. What's going on? Not much. You made it. I did. Yeah. Not without a little uh, rain. <laughs> How was the rain for you coming in? Ah, off and on. Off and on, yeah. Yeah. We were okay until probably 1.30. Then it started, eh? And it just a little Hmm. Uh, we didn't get heavy rain at all. Tell me you have fish for supper. You check that right there when you're going, going by. Lots of bass. Right on. Glad you made it, buddy. I'm glad I made it too. <laughs> right on. Awesome to be here. I, said, I think that's enough for three people. Yes. That is a nice little haul, boys. Yeah. Good job. So that with some... Uh, some I don't feel uh, bad about throwing my back now. No, no, that's good. So we got a common area here, and then uh, the boys are the boys. tenting over there. Yes. And... This will be my area right here once I get set up. Two of these are uh, from yesterday. From yesterday? Two of these are from today. Good job, John. Our catching of the day. See, all I have to do is paddle here and then I get to eat some good <laughs> fish. Some nice bass. There you go, Jamie. There, you, you told know. me not to bug you, but and I have I'm to not, say I'm something. I'm over Jamie's spot. You know what? Uh, you know, it's been a long time since you uh, came up. Um, <laughs> With these kind of things, I'm pretty sure last time we wrote, Mark took care of this uh, fish as well, <laughs> and he's doing it again. Bass and the seasoning, I forget what it is, it's a new one for me. And we have some uh, tenderloin beef chunks with uh, mushrooms and onions. Yum. 
And uh, yeah, if you want more, I can certainly hook you up. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. Winds are picking up here. Ooh, what's going on here? Got the uh, tent set up. Threw the tarp up over top. Just give a little extra protection and spot for my uh, gear in the back type thing. And uh, why not? I had it with me. I knew it was going to rain, so. So yeah, so that's my setup. The Eureka Midori 2. Using that for a couple years, and it's uh, served me very, very well. Glad I'm here and not on my way right now. Yeah, uh, I'm not pulling anything out of my uh, food bag because it will suffer in big comparison to this. Yeah, stuff. but what you don't don't know yet is there's also breakfast. Ooh. Yeah, I got a lot of breakfast too, eh? Well, I'm a little concerned about uh, how Jamie's gonna feel about this. <laughs> <laughs> Just teasing guys, we always, uh, we always have a good laugh and that last time we went out with Mark, it was great because Jamie could show up, could be there, so. But he's not here, so he's losing out, but uh, John's a good replacement, Mark's grandson, so we're pretty happy about that. Supper is served, I mean, it is. how fantastic is this? I just uh, kind of paddle up here and <laughs> set up my tent and I'm eating uh, bass and sirloin beef hey, chunks nothing but the best for the best oh you're such a great guy <laughs> hey it's dog come on nothing but the best for the best this is why on youtube <laughs> you should always collaborate and get together with other youtubers because they have some special skills golden brown delicious that's fresh I bass caught that. john I caught, caught that i caught that <laughs> absolutely delicious mm, so good a little discussion we're having food all different different things and i just jumped in jamie is the master of the blackstone so that amen. can never be taken away amen jamie i got your back don't worry <laughs> <laughs> don't worry i'm not ripping you too hard here just a little <laughs> oh yeah oh wow he is super bright that rainbow. double rainbow Morning, John. Hello. All right, it was a uh, it was a good night, but it was pretty rough out there. The water was uh, crashing up against the canoes. You could hear that all night long. We got some uh, high winds and rain, and then a little bit more rain this morning. So right now it's kind of uh, the wind's pretty good. It'll be at our kind of at our backs uh, on the way out of here, so that'll be good. I don't, I don't mind the wind a little bit, but the rain with the wind not much fun. So. You gotta find that sweet spot over the grill. In Cold Lake, there was no snow. It was ice. Big beans, bacon, and we're gonna have egg and hash browns. Oh yeah, this is all firmed up real good. I'm gonna throw that in a frying pan where we'll do a refry. Yeah, you know fresh what, bread. you're right, I never thought of that, but we got fresh bacon, we got canned goods, and we have free... free we got bread. it covered. We got, we got every aspect covered. We got this breakfast covered. <laughs> now, it may appear that uh, I never cook when I go out, That's but... because you never do. 
you know, uh, Mark offered. I was prepared to have supper last night, but then he caught a bunch of fish, which I kind of thought would happen anyways, because he always catches fish. Not always. Well, most of the time. And he uh, he said, don't worry about breakfast. I'm making a big breakfast. So, you know, I call it just, uh, you know, friends doing things for friends here. Oh, it's convenient. Yeah, it's very convenient for me. Uh, yep. I don't know what to say. I'm lucky to have uh, buddies like uh, Jamie and Mark who uh, look after me. But they like to eat too, right? So it's an old style breakfast with the baked beans. I hope it's uh, warm enough. I don't see it steaming. I think it'll be fine. It's been on there it a while. Was, it was it's been on there the whole time. It was it's been simmering. Boiling. So two of these. Actually, we're gonna go this way. Ugh. There we go. One, two. Some good water. Three like that. Thank you. Okay, John, go get your plate. Breakfast. We got things cleaned up here. And the sun is finally coming out. And we're going to be taking off pretty soon. Breakfast was great, as always. Thank you, Mark, again. dealing with work schedule that kind of just allows me to do this kind of thing so I'm very fortunate to get out I'm happy to, to be able to get out and uh, happy to hook up with Mark and you know try a new place and a new lake and uh, get out in the canoe some more before before the season's over <laughs> I think we'll end it here guys uh, unless something miraculous happens like i catch another fish or whatever uh the rest of the way will just be paddling out of here and then the fun starts getting everything all the gear loaded up and the canoe on the truck and whatnot and two hour ride home so thanks for uh hanging out with me for a little bit and i appreciate it very very much so if you're not subscribed and you like uh, this kind of stuff or other stuff check out some of the other stuff we do and you know you might like it and think of subscribing so they get notification put that notification bell on it would be appreciated it's free free of charge and give us a like if you like the video and yeah that's about it let's we're on uh social media we're on facebook twitter and instagram pine tree line productions our website is ptloutdoors.com thanks a lot appreciate your patronage to the channel very much so all right guys take care well, that's it folks have a good one